about it, everybody. Welcome back today, guys, to the channel. Hot Wheels Unleashed gameplay has finally came out. If you guys did not know about this game, well, uh, I'm pretty excited for it. I've actually marked it on the calendar already, showing September the 30th for uh, Hot Wheels Unleashed. And they did a live stream the other day, and they opened up a lot about this game. They talked a lot about some new features, what's to be expected. They talked about online, creative tracks, the trucks. I wanted to go through it all for today with you guys and kind of talk about it, give you my thoughts, my opinions, and I want to see where your guys' heads are at with this game, because honestly, uh, this looks like a really good game. It looks something like we need it, right? It's something fresh, it's something different, and it seems like they've actually put quite a bit of effort into making this something special, and not just a pick-up-and-play game where you're going to play for five minutes, put it down, and you're never going to pick it up again, right? This really does seem like it has the detail, it has the creativity, it has the customization, and I think it has the gameplay to keep people coming back for more. And if they do everything that they've said in this live stream, I think they're going to have a banger of a game out here, man. It has all the kind of, you know, the bits and pieces that are going to really make this game fun. It's going to make it playable for everyone. And it's going to also give you that, you know, ability to either, you know, make your own path along the way and really just kind of step outside of the box, almost like a track mania style or just stick to the path, try to make your best laps, but it's really cool with what they've done and you know, every, right, I mean, with all the unique parts and abilities that they were showing off, but there was a lot that they did in this live stream, and there's a lot to cover, starting off with the cars, they did say that there's gonna be 60 plus real cars coming into the game, man, absolutely crazy. You can actually go out and pick up your own car that you're driving on in the game, probably in store or in your closet stuffed away in a box somewhere, right? Either one of the two, you're gonna find one of these Hot Wheels on the shelves or in your own collection. So that alone, I think is really cool to be able to race, you know, real cars that you can go out and purchase. They did say also that there will be more cars coming along. They didn't really mention anything crazy, but they did ask him about it and they did say with many more cars to come. I think that's awesome to hear that. The fact that they are also pushing support on this game past day one release and they do have a plan which is also great to hear and of course the big thing we already knew this it's going to be an arcade racer style game it's not going to be an arcade simulator right it's it's just arcade racer i think that's perfect for this fit but there's a lot of really cool moments in the gameplay in the live stream if you guys missed that i will leave the live stream links found down below for you guys but they put on a great show over on gamestop there jeez man gamestop game spot right the game spot had a great live stream set up there but um if you guys missed it check the link down below but they did say right just the easy pick up to play a lot to master and i think that's going to hold very strong with what we've seen in the live stream it's cutting the track with the shortcuts uh, with the ability to you know have your boosting you know with making sure you hit your strips there's a lot going on on track rather than just holding the gas and breaking the corner or drifting as well too we've seen a lot of drifts there's going to be a lot of corporation of drifting in terms of gathering your boost so with all that right it seems like it's going to be a perfect combination of a great game right i mean prove me wrong out here i feel like it's going to be a solid game and i'm really excited for it they also said there's going to be customization which i think is great to hear um they didn't say too much they did say there's going to be some special parts they also said liveries you can actually have different liveries per car obviously if you guys know right a hot wheels can come up with different liveries per vehicle different years so they're going to actually have those same ones in the game and the biggest thing i feel like they're going to have their very own livery editor right it's just huge news after huge news coming in on this live stream where they've said highly detailed livery editor and we're going to actually be able to take that livery editor create our masterpiece and then upload that and share it for anybody to download and take it for themselves i think that is an awesome idea right off the gate day one being able to use the livery editor you seen it work with forza with need for speed right it's a very important thing a lot of people love to just paint on cars so i think this is a great idea it's going to allow for a lot of other different creators to come onto the game showcase their skills and talents and add different community events as well too which i think is awesome right now once you've picked your car you get on the track uh, it's a little bit more dangerous it seems like though because you can actually be pushed off the track It does look like the cars will actually go right off there if you are bumped or pushed I seen a couple cars go on two wheels get sideways a bit just kind of almost flip over I think it's really cool that they've kind of opened up the physics almost um, a Forza 7 kind of style where the cars can actually flip and start rolling over I think that's awesome to see that the cars aren't just kind of you know planted to the ground They you know they have their own characteristics and I think that's gonna be a huge motivator for a lot of people to pick this this game up I feel like um, they did mention as well two career modes coming into the game right I figured there was gonna be something to that but they did also mention there will be boss fights coming into the game so something uh, I, I don't think I was ready for I mean we've seen boss fights in other racing games more or less a one-on-one -on -one.
fun style but i think it's really cool that they're going to incorporate with hot wheels and there's a lot of things that they can do man there's so many opportunities i mean using the name of hot wheels there's so many hot wheels products that have come out over the last you know 50 years that could be incorporated into this game so right, i'm really looking forward to the dlc that comes with this i feel like it's going to be very strong it's going to be a lot of fun and i am very excited to get onto this game man. Right, I figured today we'd stop all the episodes and we just talk about the Hot Wheels Unleashed because I felt like it was definitely worthwhile to do an episode bringing awareness to this game and I'm really excited for it. I didn't see a price tag or anything. They didn't say you can pre-order it now, I don't think. But right, I mean, the menus look like I'm staring through a window looking at my own Hot Wheels. They look gorgeous. They look lifelike, the shadows, the textures. Um, it's just, it's incredible with what they've done in this game to make it as real as you can. And it, I don't think it can get any better than this, right? I mean, even with the cutscenes, with the trailers that they were showing off, their team feels like they're very strong over there. They've really hit all their points in making a really great solid game. And the foundation is definitely there, I feel like. They also said in the career mode, you're gonna have your kind of home base style. They mentioned in the Q&A actually after that it will be customizable. Now the other huge thing that they mentioned, which I felt like they could have held off and talked about this later for another month, but uh, they let everything out the gate, I felt like, man. They are bringing in a track creator an editor into the game where you can actually also share your creations for online for split screen and it is it is, seems to be a very unlimited endless supply right it seems to be a very creative process that they're letting you do there you don't have to you know stay on the track essentially you can break the track off and you know go on to the different environment explore a little bit throw the tracks back up there right so there's a lot that you can do and they did say that i think there's what like 25 30 objects at the moment to you know place around and have some fun with but the biggest thing though with the track creator is that you can actually manipulate and skew the parts so you can actually make those big loop-de-loops you can make those corkscrews and you can actually twist and bend the track the way that you want you can also color the track which they did say which I, it's, it's very interesting how you're going to be able to do all this i'm really curious to see how the mechanics are going to work how user friendly it's going to be but right, if it does it as smooth as the gameplay is though i think they're going to have a pretty uh, simple process in play and they seem pretty confident right they don't seem like there's going to be any issues any bugs right again it's all alpha footage so it's all subject to change we're going to see better visuals better graphics and i'm just excited man but i think moving forward um there's nothing but positivity off of Hot Wheels Unleashed, man. I mean, that's just for me, though. Let me know your thoughts down below so far. But we're not done yet, though, right? We're not done. Right now, on the tracks, if you don't want to create your track, right? That's fine, right? Not everyone wants to create a track. I don't know why, but, right? If that's not for you, 40 tracks come in the game already. I think that's a pretty good number, right? I think the player is going to have a lot to do in this game. It's going to be a lot of fun. And it seems like you're going to be able to bring these cars that you've made with your liveries, with your parts, and actually use these online competitively, hopefully. So I'm really excited for this. Hopefully they do some kind of, you know, eSports league for the game. Right? I don't know. I'm just excited to get out there. Hopefully there's a leaderboard set up. And also with the ability to, you know, fly off the track and cut tracks, look for some track mania people coming over here, right, and trying to set some records. I think that's an awesome thing, especially with the creative track. I think we have some huge potential for a big game in 2021 man let me know your thoughts down below hot wheels unleashed coming to all platforms september 30th i do believe unless it's subject to change i don't know i'm so sorry but it, it just it seems like it's going to be a fun overall experience of a game and that is exactly what we've been waiting for for 2021 something new something fun and now the last thing for today acceleracers man they asked it in the q a and they had a huge grin on their face man, they know people want the acceleracers in the game and they did say that they see it they know what people want and hopefully it's coming they didn't they didn't say for sure it's coming but they said they see it and they know um so i think that only means that hopefully potential acceleracers dlc coming in the near future if you guys don't know what acceleracers are well hit it up on youtube there's a four hour marathon great show man i remember growing up as a kid hot wheels just it's it's a part of all of us and i think this game has got a huge fan base all they have to do is nail the gameplay nail the fun factor nail the competitiveness of this and i think they got a recipe for a really big game coming out strong for 2021 man let me know your thoughts down below hot wheels unleashed i'll see you guys back here tomorrow i'm out peace